on ace on hoops for the Colonels and the Bears. And in backcourt, Hunter will move it right to left to the wall end of the arena as we're underway in Richmond. First ever meeting between UCA and EKU in the hardwood. And another bad pass right out of the gate. A turnover prone team in the top 20 of turnovers. Against the team that turns over teams the fourth most in the nation. It'll be a story that will script and follow all night long. Crookshank high post to Blanton. Tay-Tay turns and walked with the basketball. No whistle. Turnover the other way. Here comes Central Arkansas driving as Cooper. That ball rolls away. Rolls out to a shooter for the lead. Cannot get it on the miss by eBay Clinton. Off the Clinton miss. Here comes Crookshank. Opening up man-to-man are the Bears. Throw to the big guy inside in Bennett. They got a double team on him. He'll turn to the left hand and score. Boy, that was a total mismatch right there. Bennett outweighs Hunter probably 100 pounds. They are a switching defense, and EKU takes advantage there. Goes for the trap, skip pass to the far side to Clipman. Head of the key, crossover dribble by Hall. Back to Clipman. eBay Clipman from Mo. Malmo, Sweden, into the lane to their star hall. Float and fire from eight on the run to tie it at two. Cooper Robb got burned trying to get the steal right there. Gave up penetration. Crookshank gives it to Blanton, who just inched his way to forecourt in time. Off to Brown, getting his first start this season. Brown drives, got around the defender, who got a hand on it. Good enough defense. Missed shot. Chatham with the defense. Here come the Bears looking for the lead. Hall throws it high. Rising to get it into the corner, near side Cooper. Cooper backs it away, Blanton inches out on him. So we've played near two minutes. Fake of the hand back by Hall. Started his career at Arkansas, then to DePaul. Now back at his home state. Top of the key to Chatham. 17 footer, no. Rebound by Brown off the backboard, but it falls to Hall, and he'll put it up and in. Or wait, that was Clintman, I think. Got blocked out. 4 2 Bears. Brown stop and go dribble to the baseline. It was Clintman, and that shot only the backboard. Offensive rebound, Bennett hooks it from seven, no good. 4-2, Central Arkansas. This is Cooper. Curdle switch defensively, head of the key to Hall. Leans in on Brown, who reaches in. Little arm hook to get him defensively away. Into the left corner to Cooper. Bring it top of the key. Drive on Bennett, turn, Chatham, got it, 6-2 Bears. Real nice spin move in the lane to create some space and get that shot up over Bennett. 6-0 run here after EKU got the first two by Iron Bennett. Blanton behind the back into the lane, dropped the dribble, saved it before it went out in front of the Central Arkansas bench, manned by their head coach. And here's Rob losing it, but got it back. Pitched it into the corner to Blanton. He missed. Followed his own miss. A bear falls down, and Blanton on an eight-foot offensive rebound miss. And the Bears are running up to Chatham. Stolen by Crookshank, but he ran out of room. 16-39 in the game. Half one, 6-2 Central Arkansas. Great hustle by Crookshank right there to get a hand on that lead pass. Both teams opening up man-to-man -man and doing a lot of switching. Going to reset the shot clock here, says Jason Baker. Put it at 20. Crookshank never had control. Bennett to guard. Inbounds trigger by Hunter. Good defense, but they got it in to Cooper. Cooper high post to Chatham. Back over to the shooter. He missed, and an offensive rebound push by Hall. Trying to get loose, and he picks up the foul. He goes to talk to the official, asking about the call, pats him on the backside after getting the explanation. 6-2, UCA. Central Arkansas with just some token man-to-man -to -man pressure right here. Hasn't shown any kind of trap so far. Crookshank coming back for another year. Fifth-year graduate student through a junior college. He's out of Milwaukee. Played his high school ball down in Texas to Brown. EKU has opened one of six. UCA, three of six. Brown drives on Hall, dropped the ball. Did it roll off Hall? No. Brown appealing, but a turnover by Brown. If there is a knock on Jamaru Brown's game, it is the lack of consistent ball handling. Yeah, that's it's been something that's been a problem for him at times this year. 
Easter's been going a lot of one-on-one -on -one so far in these possessions. Hunter flips it up to Clinton. And alley -oop for a monster jam by Jared Chatham. Back-to-back -back buckets, and after a 2-0 deficit, the Bears have ripped off eight in a row. Moreno and Wardy coming to the scoring table to check in for the home team. Brown, he wants Cruikshank to clear it out, underhand to Blanton. One of six start for the home team. Blanton, a hand in the face, tough 17-footer. He cans it for his first two. He scored 23 games in a row, and Bennett interrupts up in Murray State and Moorhead State. Lob into Hall. Rob got help from Wardy, and he walked. Wardy has checked in, coming off his five-dunk effort against Denon D1, and also Michael Moreno in as well. So they, along with Rob, forced the turnover, and that is the second of the night on Central Arkansas. EKU has made two as well. Moreno, a quick shooting three, barely got it to the rim. Ball skitters to the corner, and a rebound to eBay Clintman. They throw over the defense. Wardy was not aware, but he was able to shell out Chatham. Hall drives in. Extra share to the baseline to Hunter. Along the baseline, turning, tough shot. No good. Off the miss. It looked like it was Chatham. I was blocked out. Wardy the rebound. Juco through Nebraska. Also a Division II stop at Peru State. They go to Wardy. Goes up and he dunks it. And he's up to 60% of his field goals made now, Doug, are dunks. That's dunk. Number 17 for Wardy off the bench. Hunter beats him, alley-oop, and oops, they go. As they tried to do the one-hand alley-oop for the high line, and it was off target to Hall from Hunter. Turnover Hunter, third on the team. Yeah, they had the advantage, though. It was a right idea, just poor execution on the pass. Crookshank at guard. Again, Braxton Beverly. Medical scratch tonight, the normal starter. Up to Wardy, back to the basket, hand back to Crookshank. High pumping, left-handed dribble, and he'll fall away for a three. No good. Blanton follows, tips it across the flange, kept it alive, but through his legs it goes into the hands of Hunter. Hunter to Cooper. Cooper to the foul line, back to Hunter. Hunter, a freshman guard, and he's played well. 6'3", freshman, true freshman. Now Hall spinning his way into the lane. Wardy challenge may have gotten the fingernail on it. Pout pulled down by Chatham. He missed, and Moreno... Got the rebound for EKU, 8-6 UCA. Here's Rob, catch and shoot three for the lead, no. Over the back of Wardy, goes Hall cleanly for the rebound. All to four cart. Played at Arkansas and at DePaul. Now he's back in his home state at UCA. About a half an hour north of Little Rock. 8-6 UCA, 13-30 in the first half. Hunter one hands it. Down the left of the lane and off the window for two. Well, you got to pay attention to your scouting report. Hunter left-handed and scored going to his left. Two Bears and one Colonel getting ready to come in. They'll all be new subs. This is Crookshank to the baseline in trouble turnover. And it's rare for Crookshank. He's 3.1. It's his turnover ratio. Miller for Eastern Kentucky, a walk-on. It'll be Eddie... Kyalud in, and let's see who the other player back in, or is it a new player? It's a new player. It's going to be Jackson Baker. So Kyalud and Baker in for UCA. Deep three. Got it. Stripping core. Never hit the rim for Colin Cooper. His 27-3 to lead the team. 13-6. Biggest lead at seven for UCA. Five in a row after EKU scored four in a row. To get it within two. We're down to 12.50 first half. Rob, step back three. Missed his first, hits his second, and he answered the three by Cooper with one of his own at a team leading 35th. Well, it's important for Eastern to hit the basket to get that press set up that they're so noted for. They throw over it to Baker to the baseline. Wardy fouled him after he got around Moreno to the baseline left in transition. Looked like he was in good position, but he brought those arms down on the shot, and you're going to get a foul caught on you just about every time when you do that. Jackson Baker out of Phoenix, Arizona. Brophy Prep, six is average last year, 4.8 this year. And he's, it's good. He'll have one more. He's the president of the Student Athletic Advisory Group at UCA, communications major. 
And uh, I guess I'll fault him a little bit for being a Man U fan since I'm a Chelsea fan in Premier League <laughs> soccer. Well, I'll tell you what, that kid can shoot the ball. If he gets a look at the basket tonight, you can expect it to go in. Got them both from the foul line, 15-9. Biggest lead, 7. Biggest lead for EKU, 2-0. And then they got outscored, 8-0. Bad pass by Mitter, but Wardy saves it. Got it back to Mitter, the third-team point guard here, playing because... Beverly is out. Good find in a corner to Rob by Mitter, and he airballed it, but Wardy picked it up, went back up after he lost the handle, got decked in foul, will have to earn him from the line where he's 7 of 10 this year. Well, Wardy is so active on the boards. Here's a replay. Oh, we thought we were going to get a replay there. Not right now, but uh, here he is. You saw, you saw the end of the play there where he got knocked out of bounds, but he's so active. He's very quick, and uh, he's got springs. One thing that Eastern Kentucky's not been able to do tonight is get a run. Central Arkansas had an 8-0 run as Wardy now 8 of 11 from the foul line, and he has three. That's one thing that Eastern Kentucky hangs its hat on with its good turnover margin. You look at runs, they've had 13 runs this year of double-figure points in a row. Well, usually that's predicated on them getting the basket and then setting up their press and getting those turnovers and then creating offense from their defense. Second one, no good by Wardy. And the rebound by Hall. You can see his athleticism here. Baker almost lost the handle, but it got to a teammate. New player in, and Ola Wu Carey. Ola Wu Carey has checked in, so they've been a little deeper on the bench. They have not been hit by the medical scratches like EKU. Doug talked about Baker shooting, and he flattened that one out off the back flange straight away, no good. Blanton the rebound, bumped by Ulo Wu Carey, now backing it up is Blanton to Moreno, back to Blanton. 11.35 first half, Blanton a three to cut it to two, he missed. At Easter Kentucky, shooting poorly, four of 14, one of seven from three, and a defensive rebound, and here come the Bears looking to add to their big advantage of five. Baker, no look pass, corner. Ulo Wu Carey misses it, and a rebound high near the foul line. To Ward A, to Miller, to forecourt, right side, Moreno, crossover dribble. And they'll settle into an offensive pattern here as we near the 11-minute mark. Down on the baseline with a height advantage, Moreno, skip pass left quarter, Blanton. Three ball good on the assist by Moreno, his 27th assist, and Blanton hits the three for his fifth point. Nice pass, but a nice screen over there on the weak side by Ward. Advantage for Central Arkansas. Both teams have made three turnovers. Central Arkansas ball. This is Kaya Lude, and he got around the defender but missed the shot at the cup. Ball falls to Hall. His 16-footer went too far. Easy rebound, Blanton pushing pace to Brown. Brown, deep three from the corner for the lead, no good. EKU two of nine from deep. Guard Colin Cooper the rebound out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. To the elbow left over Bennett, no good. May have gotten a piece of it. Rebound Brown, give Bennett a partial block. Brown stop and go dribble down the left of the lane. Crookshanks come back in and Brown dribbling up the near side or the far side in front of the Central Arkansas bench to Moreno. Catch and shoot three for the lead, no good. EKU's only lead, 2-0. They'll be down as many as seven. They play on D one quarter of the way in to the baseline. Driving in Ola Wu carry nothing. Up top, extra share, Cooper double extra share. Hall to the corner, missed it. They're not a great shooting team. And a rebound by Brown and a reach-in foul called on Kyalu. Good rotation defensively there by Eastern. Get a little pressure on the shot. and They've done a pretty good job on that. On the other end, though, Eastern has taken a lot of quick shots and settling for the three and not really working the ball inside out, which I expect Coach Hamilton will probably adjust to that. University of Central Arkansas bringing starter eBay Clinton back in at a Malmo, Sweden, Scotland campus prep. Ace the newcomer of the week once. They've had three newcomer picks this year. EKU's had one chance at Williams. Medical scratch tonight, the graduate student. Brown dropped the ball, got it back in front of Clintman. He finds an opening and he sacks it. Very good patients who were tied at 15. And EKU scored six in a row. Quickly down court, Clintman after Brown put it in the bucket for his first two. Clintman crossover loses. Brown, good help, steal by Crookshank. It's a two on coup. Crookshank will pull up a three good at Eastern Kentucky with one of those Grenadine Illinois 
18 against Midway, Ohio Valley, and 15 against Dallas Lloyd College. So just one double figure run way high up there. They chase, easy, Hall behind the back, over Rob from 15, and we're back within one as Hall shows his great handling and his ability to find a shot there. Yeah, he's got that elevation on that mid-range game. Crossover dribble, Crookshank, little shove off, nothing there. Back to Moreno up top to Brown. Little body bump by Clinton. They're letting him play, but letting him play fairly. Brown muscling in, drew the foul that time. It was Clinton pushing, then it was Brown pushing, and then Clinton comes back, and Clinton gets called for the foul. Haven't had a lot of fouls, just four of the Bears, two on the Curtles as we watch this one-on-one -on -one battle here. Yeah, Brown made a really nice quick crossover and got to the left of the lane there before he got the contact. Good foul shooter and Jamaru Brown goes to line 73% on his career, 84% this year, and that is his 13th foul shot in a row hit. He is 22 of 26 on the year. He's been to the foul line as many as 19 times in a game. He was 18 of 19 back in the 2019-2020 season against Tennessee State. And he's just been silky smooth as he got them both to go. And the biggest lead of three for EKU, the biggest deficit at seven. Central Arkansas's Baker throws over past half-court Clintman. They got him in a double team, and the new player into Sean Jackson the steal. Jackson a bounce pass and threw it away. He thought it was deflected. They said no. Five turnovers UCA. Four turnovers Eastern Kentucky. Sean Jackson coming off that outstanding performance in the last game against Alex Lloyd where he came off the bench and had 15 points. They're looking for him to help out this time where the people are out of here with medical scratches. Jackson the one with the orange shoes on wearing 23 and white. Around to the right side, Clinton for the lead, missed the three. Good block out by Jackson, and they went over his back, but Jason Baker says, no, we're going to do it the other way. Say Jackson burrowed in to the offensive player there. We yeah. had position, he just didn't make a, a pivot there to keep his rear end on the uh, offensive player. And, yeah, and we uh, saw it a little late to see what happened there. Yeah, Hall, Hall was real aggressive on the boards. Hall got the inbounds goal, camping inside the lane, just lost the ball, was Kyalute for their sixth turnover of the night. They are a high turnover team, over 16 a game. 2017 Eastern Kentucky, they were down early in this one, 13 to six, Brown a tough three, missed it. Tapping it off the backboard is Bennett, but couldn't get the rebound. So Eastern Kentucky has been on a 14 to seven run since they were behind. Make it a 14 to four run for Easter Kentucky. Chatham driving in, using his body, misses, but a haul there for the follow tip in. Hall's been the most active player on the court tonight that I've seen, Doug. Yeah, he's athletic, long, and really attacks the glass. They post him up some in their half court offense too. 2019, Easter Kentucky, seven and a half in the first half. Brown, loosely guarded by Chatham, head of the key. Good screen by Bennett, nothing there. Now Brown drives, got loose, double team, top foot off the window and scored it. I don't know how, but he has six. And up the other way, nobody back, and it's easy throwing over the defense at a dunk by Chatham, 22-21 Eastern Kentucky. Well, they beat the defense down by a long shot right there. Starter Cooper waiting to come back in for UCA. Jackson, left wing three, missed it. Rebound pulled down by Clintman. Also, Eastern Kentucky getting ready to bring Blanton and Wardy back in here. Near steal by Brown, but Clintman got it back and then threw it away, trying to hard and aggressive six rebounds for him individually already. Along with six points, Chatham has six points. Six points for Brown for EKU, five by Blanton. Here's Brown, high right, guarded by Clintman. Drives him, fall away 14-footer, good, and Brown feeling game right now, isn't he? He has eight. Yeah, he did a good job right there, getting to where he wanted to be and then rising up and shooting under balance. Blanton tracking the guard Cooper to forecourt. Now they switch Rob on him. Been a quiet night for Rob so far, except for a big three. Top of the key, Chatham, who's had a good game. Almost walked, kept the pivot foot down. Cooper drives through, and Rob reaches in and fouls him. Well, that pivot foot almost came off the court there as Chatham was in no man's land. They say the reach is on Brown before Rob got him. First on Brown, 
And both teams now with four personal fouls and a low foul game and a poor shooting game for both sides. Well, Easter's done a good job in their rotations and help on their half-court defense. They've uh, really kept Central Arkansas out of their offense for the most part. First foul shot good by Cooper. He has four. Colin Cooper averaged 10.8 last year, 10.2 this year. Sophomore got them both. 75% foul shooter. This is a good foul shooting team at 74%, third best in the A-Sun. They pull within one of the home TV KU. One of three games in the A-Sun tonight, one postponed. Bellerman, COVID problems in their program. They were supposed to be at Jacksonville State. Brown to the baseline, 12-footer, couldn't get it. Hall falling out of bounds, but saved it in. Got it to Hunter. Hunter, Rob went for the steal and got a nick on it. Wardy picked it up, threw Rob to Crookshank. Crookshank high off the window. No, Wardy follows and dunks it. So Wardy, two dunks tonight on his two field goals. 18 dunks now on 29 makes this year. Can you believe that? Great job running the floor and following, following that shot. Across the timeline, Clintman to Hall. Good feed inside, and Wardy blocked it on Chatham. Throw over to Wardy. Collects it, runs out of room, finds Crookshank in a corner, no good. That would have brought the roof down. The big wooden beam arched roof here, a signature here of this arena, built in 1963. Five minutes, first half. Hunter stop and go dribble. There's that pretty left-handed kiss off the window. He's done two down the lane, and that's his shot, isn't it? Quick release, too, and it got it up off on the board before the defense could react. 26-25, Eastern Kentucky. Not able to get up by more than three in this game. Central Arkansas had an early seven-point lead. Blanton lost the dribble, got it back, find Rob in the right wing, make a man fly by him, open three, splash. Boy, all you young kids right there, take, take note of that pump fake. Throw over the defense, and Hall missed the dunk. Wardy found him. Wardy almost deflected the pass before that, and A.W. Hamilton thought that Wardy got fouled when he tipped it away from the first intended receiver as he works hard, and now does the head coach, and then pats one of the three officials on the back, and they have a smile together. Coach Hamels can, can charm people. <laughs> He's really got the personality over on the sideline. Played at Wake Forest. Then when they brought in this guy named Chris Paul, they transferred to Marshall. Here's Hall, deep knee bend. Foul shot good, and he'll have one more. Again, a good foul shooting team. Hall has seven. He's a 73% foul shooter. And UCA tonight, a perfect five for five. Got them both. They went 17 of 18 in the loss at Missouri State. The biggest lead of four for EKU cut in half to two. 418 in the first half, and they're in the weave. In front of the Central Arkansas bench and Anthony Boone, their third-year head coach who played at Ole Miss. Good feed low to Wardy and a clean strip by Clintman when Wardy was collecting. Through a teammate to Hunter down the left side of the baseline. He's in trouble, but find Cooper for the lead. He got it his second of the night. They went down to double team the post and a good kick out assist right there. Cooper wide open on the three point line. Third lead switch, two ties. 30 29, UCA. Crookshank stop and go dribble inside. Throws it into the corner to Rob. Finds a three with a hand at his face, and this one no good. Easter Kentucky, 4 of 16, 25%. And in transition, Rob gets back and makes a steal at the foul line. Scoops it to an unguarded Crookshank, and he missed it. Plant the rebound, Pogo stick back up and in. And Easter Kentucky switches the lead back to 31-30. Their side yeah. also been an assistant at UCA before he took over as interim coach in 2020. Into Baker, their freshman guard. Back to Clintman, a freshman. Back to Baker to four court. Colonels have a trap. In trouble. Baker almost stole him, but they got it. No look to Chatham, and he hit the back flange when he went to dunk, but held on to it, and it finally went down the pipe for two. Chatham has been impressive tonight, the graduate student yeah, out of L.A. Hunter was lucky to get the ball out of that trap there at midcourt. 32-31, Bears on our fifth lead switch in a tight game. Pick and roll to Ward. He dropped it, but it went off the foot of Chatham when Wardy couldn't handle the pick and roll throw down low from Rob up high. 
Central Arkansas does a great job of helping uh, off of penetration, and they did a good job right there rotating. Morty was rolling right o uh, wide open to the basket. EKU playing without three of its top six players tonight. Lewis, who's a dynamic athletic freshman, and then two starters, two transfers in Beverly. Air ball throw by Rob, rebound by Moreno, but his shot no good. Blanton had a chance. Kicks out to Rob, and the shot clock runs out. Get in, Moreno all over him. Dangerous throw, caught by Chatham. Got it through to Clintman, but nothing there. Out to their shooter, and he's hit three tonight. Came in 26 of 69, and he's to double figures is Colin Cooper. Feeling it in Richmond. 35-31 UCA. They were down 29-25. Eastern Kentucky, another quick shot and another miss. On a 10. And a big run here. They were down four. They're up for a 10 to 2 run if my numbers are right. Baker guarded by Blanton. Under two minutes, Chatham from the elbow over Bennett sack. Well, he, he has the ability at the five spot to stretch the defense, bring Bennett out away from the basket, and he's taken advantage of that a couple times. A 12 to two run by UCA. Double figures for Chatham for the fifth time this year. Blanton, good fake out on Clintman, and then he missed the shot, and they tapped it over his back and out of bounds. Eastern Kentucky. Struggling from the field tonight, 12 of 35, 34.3%, 48.3% for the Bears who came in a 43% shooting team of the year. Crookshank into Moreno. Moreno spins to the baseline, 12 footer short, follow zone miss, hopscotches to the goal and misses from two feet. Got it back, he'll try it for a third time, partially blocked. Rob picks it up. Rob whips it out to Crookshank into the lane. Float, yo-yo the body, miss, another miss. Good hustle, Bennett comes out of there with it. He'll put it up, he missed it. The cup denies it again, EKU as Crookshank takes it elbow. He falls down, five on four, Hunter. Off to the guy that wanted to heat stroke it, but couldn't get loose. Hunter walks down the lane, finds a teammate to put it in for a 14-2 run by Chatham who's had 12 tonight. And it's 39-31 UCA. Here goes Moreno. Dropped the dribble, got it back, and he's fouled. 42 seconds to go in the first half at UCA on a 12-2 run for their biggest lead of the night at eight. Yeah, that's only the 15 foul on the Bears, so Eastern not in the bonus yet. Eastern has 16 fouls, so if they were to foul again this half, Central yeah. Arkansas would go to the line. Bennett will go to the bench, Wardy back in. Struggle City for EKU, Crookshank one of six, Brown three of eight, Blanton three of seven, Bennett one of three, Rob two of six, only Wardy two for two. Blanton trying to muscle inside, he missed, but he drew a foul, he'll go to the line. He just, just played bully ball right there, got the ball in the lane and just bowled his way in there to get the shot off. Second foul on Clinton as we take a look at Clintman's second foul right there with the body. He's changed his body so much since last year when he was a freshman. He got in that weight room and worked out really hard in the summertime. And, and you can just tell he's a different looking athlete than what he was a year ago. Blanton got the first, he has six. Same high school as Darlington Nagby. Darlington Nagby, a great player on the U.S. men's national team from 15 to 18. Soccer, he got them both. Stop the 12-2 run by a bit. Here comes Clintman, the Swede. Leans through two curdles. Finds Hunter in the lane, and there's that little floater with the left hand good. He has six, and they've all been left-handed floaters. 41-33 Central Arkansas. Big run of 8-0 early, and another run here late of 12-2. And a timeout, they dealt for Chatham. Eight for Hall, six by Hunter. EKU has nobody in double figures. Blanton trouble getting it in, but Wardy pops out high with 13 to play to Crookshank. Crookshank, eight to play between the rings. A lot of dribbling, anything there. Crookshank stepping it back, hand in the face three, missed it, and that'll be the end of the first half. And Rob, so all starters except for Wardy in for Bennett. On the other hand, it will be Clintman along with Hall, Cooper, Hunter, and Chatham for the Bears. Wardy picks up the dribble, good defense, a double team, find Rob. 
A tough shooting night for the Curdles. Here's their leading scorer and rebounder, Blanton. Tipped away, got it back over to Rob. He fakes drives. Two of six from three tonight. All the shots behind the loop. Not this time, though. Good duck under. Tough one, no. Woody, as it comes off the rim, taps it in for a seventh point. Cooper Rob really had to work to get that shot off. Excellent defensive job by Central Arkansas. And they throw it to an official. Good catch by Jason Baker, leaving his feet. And the throw away for his fourth turnover on Cameron Hunter. And you said at the top of the broadcast that they get sped up and then they leave their feet to pass. And it's hurt them. That's why they're one of the top 20 in turnovers this year in the country. A classic example right there. Baseline Blanton leaning in. Tough shot left it well short. Curdle's kind of forcing shots tonight. I think they kind of have that feeling that they're short-staffed on the bench tonight. Oh, good drive by Hall. Comes to a sliding stop and walked. Wait, have they called a foul on a Curdle? They have on a push. Going to be on Crookshank with a hold, according to Jason Baker, the crew chief. Boy, he, I really am impressed with Hall's athleticism. Three-time high school All-Stater. 5A champion at Mills High School in Little Rock his senior year. That last field goal for Eastern Kentucky was their first on that rewardy tip-in in three minutes and 54 seconds, no field goal. Long dry spell for the second time in this game. Had a dry spell with no points at 322, and they post up Rob, and Hall put it in. Boy, nice high-low action right there. They hit the high post. Hall just sealed his man off, Cooper Rob, and they were able to throw over. That is the ninth double-figure game in 14 this year for Hall. Here's Brown switching his way baseline, got bumped. Either Clintman or Hunter got him. Let's see who they pick. It's going to be on Hunter. No, it's going to be on Clintman instead. eBay Clintman, his brother Bobby, has signed with Maryland. So take another look at it. It's third on Clintman, so he's in foul trouble. I found out of a game this year, but he's two away from doing so tonight with 18.24 to go and his team up by eight. Brookshank lobs it up to the hash in front of EKU's bench to Brown. Brown hunting for a shot. Oh, he got around the defender. Reverses it. Good, and he's fouled. Pretty one-on-one -on -one move to beat Jared Chatham to the rim. And Brown goes to double figures. Oh, a great hesitation. Dribble, you'll see it right here. Watch him hesitate and go back to the baseline and finish with his left hand with a little English on that backboard. Chatham with the foul, his first. Business major out of L.A. And Brown hits another foul shot. Three for three tonight. He has 11, and he has now hit 15 in a row. And EKU within five, 43-38. After falling down, here's a bad pass. Wardy in backcourt to steal to Rob. High post back to Rob from Wardy. Wardy backs it away. Blanton sets a screen. Rob drives, kisses window, and scores his first inside the three-point line. And it's down to a three-point game from 41-33 at halftime. Impressive finish by Rob, putting it high on the glass for that bank shot. Bounce pass low and blocked by Wardy. Second block of the night on the shot inside by Chatham after the penetration. That penetration by Oluwu Carey out of Brooklyn, New York. Masai Oluwu Carey. His uncle, by the way, Udonis Haslam, of course, in the NBA for a long, long time since 2003, 41 years of age. And there is a shoulder shoved into Rob and Hall, the offensive foul and turnover, and a little bit of pick-me-up in the Eastern Kentucky comeback here down by three. Cooper Robs had that defensive assignment on Hall this half, and you can see it right here. He kind of made a little move to the lane, and... Rob moved his feet, defensive position, the referee said, was enough to draw the charge. All took that right arm into him, it appeared. That's where the call came. 5-0 run by EKU. They've taken it from 8-3. to three. Chance here to tie or get within one. Crookshank back to Rob. Takes his man out, three for the tie bang. Well, it's the second time he's done that tonight. Got the defender to go by him. Central Arkansas, 8-0 run and 12-2 run. We're tied at 43 and at half court. A foul on Brown, a late whistle, and A.W. Hamilton doesn't like the call, but I think it's an advantage call there, Doug, as Brown 
was jostling Colin Cooper at half court on the inbounds, and when Cooper fell down, the whistle sounded. It looked just exactly like a football play with the cornerback not seeing the ball when the ball was passed and kind of ran into the offensive player. And they gave the benefit of the doubt to the offense. And a tough call for Brown because he'll have to come to the bench as he has had 11 points of the game at his third foul at 17-18 with EKU down three players on medical scratch tonight. Chatham hand off to their point guard. The freshman hunter has been turned over four times. Minters come in at point guard. So they play two point guards with Kirkshank and Blanton tipped it away from Hall. Another turnover. Here comes Minter. Dangerous pass to Blanton. His shot blocked. Saved in, and now it is a run out on the throw to Hall, but Rob gets back with Crookshank. They got it back to the shooter, and the three missed by Olu Wukeri, and a foul on Minner called, and A.W. Hamilton upset twice with the call. He's really upset with the officials. Got a technical last game, and he is enraged. Well, Minner did a good job rotating and getting back into the play, and he blocked out. Uh, Chatham just did. You know, it just came over his back, looked like, but uh, we'll see it on the replay right here. I don't, I don't see the, uh, I don't see the call there. Crookshank falls down, and Wardy fouls Hall. Welcome to the A Sun, A W Hamilton. Jason Baker going to come try to settle Hamilton down, the veteran official who worked OVC games as well. They're no longer just an official or an officiating crew from one conference anymore. And, Jason Baker doing the thing to, you know, I think good officiating right here, Doug. Yeah, he's taking up for his partner there and uh, going over and trying to get A.W. Hamilton to understand the call. And Hall hits the foul shot. He's three for three. He has 11 coming in, averaging 12.3 at 30 in the loss to Arkansas State. 16 rebounds in the win over Oral Roberts. And Hall does have 10 rebounds as he misses one. Their first miss on eight attempts robbed the rebound. Here comes Minter driving, tough shot. He missed it. They took it in against a 6'8 guy. That didn't work. Here comes Hunter. Minter hawking from behind. Into the corner left side, fake. Drive, move in. Tough 15-foot air ball. Missed by Hall. Rebound by Blanton, who's having another big night. Blanton working his way in. Find a left corner shooter and Rob for the lead on a find by Blanton who's led the Colonels at assist tonight and the defense beginning to turn it over here. 46-44 EKU Hall alley up for the monster jam to Chatham who's had two of those tonight. Chatham at 14 off the Hall assist and we're deadlocked at 46. Crookshank dribbling in place high left as we go under 16 minutes. Up to Rob. Rob has had a shooting hot streak going here in the second half. Right side to Minner, extra share corner, Crookshank back to Minner. Minner drives in, a floating fire from eight, and that Minner was in the air for a long time. They pull him out of the game. No, he stays in. Moreno is the new player in, and a hand check foul called on Minner. Been a tough spell for Isaiah Minner. Local kid, played for Alan Feldhouse, a former Colonel back in the 80s coach of a state championship team at Madison Central and Isaiah Minter picks up the foul again EKU without two starters and three other top six players tonight medical scratches as the landscape of college basketball impacted by guys unable to play they're on the bench tonight in street clothes here's Chatham pump faking now shooting from 15 as he was given space Blanton the rebound tipped away but got it back as Blanton now with seven rebounds good pass to Rob Rob saved it in as he ran out of room to Crookshank. Up to Moreno, he needs one to go, and he is 0 for 9. As another one missed by Moreno. He's now 0 for 7, 0 for 4 from 3. Had two right at the cup. Hall caught and walked with a step and got it low to Chatham, and he missed the bunny, but got his own rebound. Brings it out to Cooper, their shooter. He misses one. He was 3 for 3 in the first half from deep. But Cooper couldn't get that one to go, and it's his first miss of the night. Still tied at 46, Rob. First ever meeting between Central Arkansas and EKU, both new members of the A-Sun. Here's Cooper in the corner, makes out Hunter. Now Hunter sees him drive around him, feed it to Minner, up to Crookshank, nine to shoot, he knows it. Crossover dribble, in trouble to Blanton, Blanton drives, 
Left corner, Moreno. And he got it just ahead of the shot clock for his first points of the night. And he's now scored in 75 straight games. Great patience and clock awareness there. Near 10 second call, but they got it across and alley-ooped it. But a blocking foul on Akertl. Threw it away, but Akertl bails him out here and it's Mitter with the reach. Wow. And he's already got four fouls. Uh, four fouls quick there, Doug. Yeah, that is. He's really aggressive defensively. Good call there. You yep. saw the body. Just kind of undercut the uh, leaper there as he was going for the dunk. 49-46 Eastern Kentucky. Baker back in for Hall. A minute in his playing time got his worth of fouls. Four fouls in six minutes. Missed the foul shots. So Chatham goes over. They had hit eight straight foul shots, but they missed three in a row here. Here's Moreno, who hit the big three just ahead of the shot clock. Underneath 14 minutes at EKU, down eight at halftime, now up three. Moreno, backdoor cut to Blanton for the lay-in, and a foul getting there too late on Olo Wukeri. And Eastern Kentucky, 51-46 lead. The one thing I noticed, here's a good cut there by Blanton. His man just started ball watching there just a little bit. And that's one thing Central Arkansas will do at times. They'll, they'll kind of lose focus of their, where their man is and be so concentrated on the ball that they're able to be beat on backdoor cuts. 18 to five start in the second half for EKU after they were down at intermission 41-33. Blanton 11 points, eight rebounds, four assists. Moreno hits a big three and then a big uh, give and Blanton misses the front end of a one in, or the uh, extra foul shot after the field goal and they throw it away in backcourt. The EKU defense creeping out at Hall and the Bears are wilting. Their offense is hibernated, and the Colonels have put them in a spot of bother here with that 18 to five start of the second half. Well, Wardy's got three fouls. Eastern has gone really, really small right here with Moreno playing the five spot. Three fouls on Brown, four on Mitter, three on Wardy, and three players unable to play tonight. In street clothes on the bench. Jackson has come in. Over to Moreno, his three, short. May have been partially blocked. Good closeout by Hall. Here comes Cooper to forecourt. He's hit three of four threes, but missed one this half. High post, driving, not much there for Kaya Lube. And they got it out to Cooper, and he hit another one. Boy, he's had a big night, hadn't he, with 14. One away from his season high of 15, and they've all come from three plus a foul shot. Well, he's got a nice stroke, and he had plenty of time to get that one off right there. Backdoor cut, Moreno to Rob, bank and score. They were high school teammates, and they worked a little former Scott County High School. Magic there, 53-49 EKU. UCA, three minutes, 12 seconds without a point, a near steal, and it is. Moreno deflected it. Jackson's got it, the freshman sees an opening, but puts on the brakes, maintains the dribble. EKU by four at 12-22, UCA plays defense. Crookshank three, got it. The defensive end as well, right? Right, Doug? sometimes it's not uh, quantity of shots, it's quality of shots. Eastern's done a lot better job moving the ball the second half. Meanwhile, Central has struggled. Four ties, six lead switches. In the game, they're up to 15 turnovers. EKU's fans wanted to travel, didn't get it. Hunter finds a shot, and there's that silky smooth left-hander. I can watch that float and fire all day. He is so good at that. You know, that is not an easy shot, too, when you're floating towards the basket like that. It is for him. It's 23-8 to eight for Eastern Kentucky before Hunter hit another one. Rob gets a screen from Moreno, goes inside, got around Hunter, but got cut off with help from Hall to Crookshank, his three no good. High sky rebound, Jackson pump fake back up and in. That'll bring the bench up. The freshman with his first two and offensive put, put back. 58-51 Eastern Kentucky. Rob went for a steal, they've got a four on two. Their shooter Baker out of the corner, no good. Rebound pulled down and put in as two colonels get decked. And it was in by Kyalude. His first two in his 100th game as a Bear. And it's 58-53 
Eastern Kentucky by five. Big basket by Central Arkansas. Kind of stopped the bleeding a little bit. They got over three minutes without a field goal earlier this half. Moreno hit that big three. Backing down. Tough eight-footer. Banks it in. Boy, the offense has been like night and day. Jekyll and Hyde from the first half. Hunter had to save that one along the end line on the inbounds. And the sideline left his feet but did not travel to Hall. Hall ducks under Moreno and banks it in. Hall up to a double-double game again. He has 13 points along with 11 rebounds. His fourth double-double had it against Missouri State. Oral Roberts and this team called Baylor that's pretty good. Just a little bit. 60-55 Eastern Kentucky. Neither team has had a double-figure lead. Crookshank stepped back, thought about a three, didn't take it. Picks up the dribble, eight on the shot clock. Low to Blanton, Baker on him, four on the shot clock. Tried to hit a cutting Moreno and threw it away as the shot clock forced the seventh turnover of the night by EKU. 15 turnovers by Central Arkansas and in points off turnovers, Doug, it was 9-8 EKU at halftime. They're plus eight, 8-0 eight here in the second half. Yeah, they've been able to hit the basket, which sets up their press. And uh, when Eastern's able to get into that style of play, they're a lot more effective. And 11 of 18 from the field in the second half, 61%. They've taken a 30% mark up to 39-7. Around Brown, challenged by Wardy. Third block of the night by Wardy, who just came in to Brown. Powering through, and Baker blocked it out. No foul. Good defense. Baker, after he got beat on one end, comes back and plays defense on the other end. Jackson Baker out of Phoenix, Arizona. Well, I thought he should have dropped the ball off to Blanton right there on that break, two on one. Baker with a great defensive play. Blanton and Brown have 11. Rob leads the Curtles with 16. Six of 11 from the field. Kirkshank no looks it up top to Blanton. He wants Brown to clear out. Picks up the dribble. Tipped away, but Rob right there to save it with 14 to shoot. We go under 10 minutes. Rob tough, lean, bumped, shoots, misses. Rebound kicks high, Crookshank runs it down off a tap by either Wardy or Baker of the other team. And they'll reset with a new 20 on the clock. Nearing the nine minute mark, 60-55 EKU in the A Sun opener for both teams. 15 years in the Southland for UCA, 73 in the OVC. For EKU, Rob another three, missed it. The rebound pulled down Hall, his 12th of the night. Across the timeline he comes. Going down low, turning, and a beautiful put in there by Kyalud. He's had back-to-back -back buckets in this half, and it's down to a one-possession game. 60-57 EKU, 8.50 in a moving clock, and two Bears ready to come in. Moreno getting a breather on the bench. Wardy Brown, Rob, and Blanton playing with Crookshank. Crookshank dumps it off to a cutting Rob. At Eastern Kentucky's done something to find opening here in the second half. Rob has nine this half, and it's a five-point game. Third backdoor cut by Eastern this half for layups. Rob has been active on both ends of the court. 15 for Cooper Rob, the Charlotte transfer. Got around Crookshank. Wardy tries to challenge. Good use of the body by Hunter, and he's to double figures. A balanced scoring sheet for the Bears. 14 Cooper, 10 Hunter, 14 Chatham. 13 Hall, you can't get much more balanced than that. EKU, Brown 11 points, Blanton 11, Rob 18. Brown crossover dribble inside, Baker bumps him, no whistle, shot no good. Good enough perpendicular defense there. It's a three point game, they feed it low to Kyalud, got it out to Baker, he missed the three. Rebound by Blanton, Blanton now one rebound away from back to back double doubles. We go down to the 740 mark. 62-59 Eastern Kentucky on their home court. High to Wardy has been a big factor to Rob. Back to Wardy over the defense. Went up and laid it in. Oh, it came on. After the bolting start by EKU. And it's 62-61 now. And they've got the ball, a chance to retake the lead. Big night for Cooper with 14. Crickshank. Got the steal, and then they threw him down with the arm, and the shot missed by Clinton, and they've called a foul on Rob. Wow. A lot of contact out here in the midcourt area on the loose ball. Cookshank down on the ground. Grabbed his arm, Doug. I saw it right in front of him. 
But now you gotta recollect yourself. A.W. Hamilton knows he's sitting on one tech. Let's watch it here. Here's the replay. Well, that was the foul on Rob, but before that, Crookshank got grabbed by Cooper, I believe. And Hall to the line, hits one to tie it. 9-2 run here for UCA. Good response on the road for a team that came in against a brutal schedule, three and 10. They bring their guard Hunter back in, Baker to the bench for their head coach, Anthony Boone, former Mississippi player. Coached in the OVC as an assistant under Tavester Anderson. And Hall gives them the lead on a 10-2 run, 63-62. We have had five ties, seven lead switches in the game. And we're nearing the seven minute mark. Spine tingler in the A Sun. High post left to Blanton, working his way in. All he threw the elbow into the face. This could be a flagrant as Hall got up under him. And that was the right. Just going to be a common foul out of bounds. Player control. What a game by Hall 15 points, 13 rebounds. Into their shooter, Cooper, who's had a big game with 16 as well including four threes and across the timeline with two to spare on a 10-2 run and a one-point lead. After they saw their eight-point lead go to a similar deficit, down to 12 to shoot, here's Hall. Crookshank on him, around him, into the lane. Wardy challenges, Hall misses, tip in by an unchecked cutter to the goal in Cameron Hunter. 12 by Hunter, three-point lead, Central Arkansas. He just used his athleticism to get to the rim there, tip that ball in. Moreno, after a long sit on the bench, loosening up to come in. Blanton from 16. Nope. So Eastern Kentucky, after a hot start, 11 of 18 this half, has gone cold of late, one of their last six. After the 11 of 18 start, and Hall has taken over, drives on Rob, spins in the lane, dumps it even lower. They shoulder into Rob and called a jump ball and the ball out to Central Arkansas on the possession arrow. Right now, the Colonels are gonna to have to have some leadership out on the floor. They've, they've had a really bad run of what they thought were bad calls and Central Arkansas has stepped up and made a great comeback here in the last few minutes. Eastern has to kind of steady the ship and get back to their game plan. Central Arkansas, eight fouls below their average of over 18 a ball game. EKU averages 17 and a half fouls. They've been called for 16. Eastern going 2-3 for the first time tonight. Clintman into the lane from Hunter. Or Hunter got it from Clintman and put it in. And so it is 67-62 Central Arkansas. They've scored 10 in a row and 14 of the last 16. Baseline tough shot for Jamaru Brown and he hit it. That's what he can do sometimes. Quick advance here. Brown up to 13. Hunter flies in. Moreno got the block. Three-point, one possession game. 5.20 to go. Hunter now catches up. We play five on five. Rob has had a big second half to Brown. Brown takes a Moreno screen. Nothing there. 13 to shoot. Still dribbling to the baseline. Dropped the ball. Got it back. In trouble, forces a shot up, bad possession, but they get a break as Cooper touched the ball out of bounds going for the defensive rebound. They do not reset the shot clock for now. Eastern Kentucky's bench asking for a reset of the shot clock and the officials deny it. Looked like Cooper had it, now they are asking for a reset. No, they moved it just a second up to four and they'll talk it over again. Jason Baker, the crew chief, a little exasperated with the word he got from one of the other officials. Jason Baker, Darren Williams, Jesse Joseph in a pressure cooker here tonight. 67-64, and now they've reset the shot clock. We're saying that Jamari Brown's shot hit the rim before it was touched out of bounds. So that's what it was. Throw to the backcourt to Rob. Four players for Central Arkansas in double figures, all between 14 and 16 points. For the tie, Rob, no good. Brown went over the back, couldn't get the rebound. Hall's got it, yet another one. 
Hall to forecourt. Now he drives. Moreno stays in front of him. 15 rebounds for Hall. One away from his career high. Spin, stops, Rob stripped it away, but called the foul on him, and he can't believe it. Watch it again here. Here's a good spin move. Rob came in, tried to blindside him there, and uh, the referee said he got a piece of the arm on the way up. An exasperated A.W. Hamilton, arms outstretched, upset with the call. It's three on Rob. So now you've got foul troubles, four on Mitter, three on Wardy, three on Rob, three on Brown, 17 fouls on EKU, and Hall back to the line where his double-double night continues. 11 fouls this half, Eastern Kentucky, four on Central Arkansas, and a four-point lead as Hall put another one in. EKU's Rob, a deep three that could have tied it. What about Hall's night? It has been tremendous. 16 points, 15 rebounds, make it 17 and 15. Well, he's just that athletic looking kid. You just could pick him out in the warmups. If you hadn't seen him play at all, you would know he was a player. 69 65 4, Central Arkansas with 430. Pick to finish last in the A-Sun, but bidding for a big upset here against a depleted EKU team with out two starters and three of their six best players, and Moreno with a reach-in foul on Chatham. And a mock cheer from the Eastern Kentucky crowd. We're gonna say common foul out of bounds underneath. That's the, I think, Greg, you told us already, five team fouls on the Bears, right? Yep. It was 11 to 4, 11 fouls at EKU, now 11 to 5 for the night, 17 to 11. Into Moreno, he'll catch and shoot the three and miss it. Blanton the rebound, spins around the defender, his shot no, follows it again no, and he's fouled this time. And now Blanton will go to the foul line. With 4.10 to go, 69 64. Watch it again here, Blanton working hard. And Baker got him on the arm the second time. Just wouldn't be denied right there. Great toughness by Blanton going to the glass. That puts Blanton in double figures in both rebounds and points, 11 and 11, and he hits the foul shot. You can see the way he bobbled at the foul line. He didn't think that was, was in. He missed one a little bit earlier. 12 points, 11 rebounds for Blanton. His third double-double of the year and second game in a row. 69-66 after Blanton hits them both. And uh, Cooper. Cooper had it tipped away, but Blanton couldn't get to it. They chase Baker. Three to get it across, and they do. Up to Hunter. Hunter will back it away, and Anthony Boone calls for circulation as we go underneath four minutes in the game. And UCA up by three. Inside Hunter, an extra step in the lane, and he put it up and in as they post Hunter, the 6'3 freshman guard, and he has 14. We're well, in the scout today. The coaches were talking about how they love to post their guards. And another example of that right then. 16 for Hunter. Brown drives in. Banks misses. Moreno follows offensive rebound. Put back seven all this half. Moreno, one possession game yet again. How many times have we said that? 71-68. Rob went for a steal. Didn't get it. Now Moreno shuts down the driver. And Olo will carry. Deep three. No, Moreno the rebound. They went over his back and tipped it away, but the rebound skittered out to a teammate. 3-10 left in the game. Here's Blanton trying to will his team. Moreno fakes the three, back to Blanton. Three to play. EKU down three on their home court. Blanton backdoor, cut, pass, tipped away by Rob. Fool you once, fool you twice, fool you three times, but not the fourth and fifth time. Yeah, great defensive recovery on the cut right there. Crucial turnover, EKU, their ninth of the night. They force 15. Brown tries to close out. Hunter got around him and knocks down Blanton for a trump saw. And they went back out on top, 68 to 64. 2.35 to go at EKU, who has played a bunch of close games this year. Had a spine-tingling loss to JMU here. Had a spine-tingling win against Northern Kentucky. Central Arkansas had been in a lot of close games this year. Crookshank back in at guard. Over to Blanton, 10 to shoot. 
Blanton to the lane, crossing over Baker, follow a 10-footer good by Blanton. Blanton has 15. I think that's a good matchup for the Colonels right there, Blanton against Baker. 71-70, Baker unguarded, got it into the lane, and it's an easy lay-in as Colonels extended the defense, and they found Chatham, Baker did, Chatham has 16. The balance scoring, Hall 17, Chatham 16, Hunter 16, Cooper 16. How good is that? Three-point lead, UCA with 1.42 to go. Moreno from 25, missed it. Been a tough night for Michael Moreno. He's one of eight from deep. Here's Hall, who's been one of the best players on the court tonight, and his team up 73-70. EKU's missed three threes that could have tied the game. Big possession, they got it into Cooper off to Hunter. Hunter passes up the three with a minute 13 to go. They milk clock back up top to Cooper, and he overthrew Hall trying to post high and another chance to cut it even or within one. Crookshank to Brown, minute five to go. Bear 73-70 lead, Brown drives inside, Banks misses. Brown wanted a foul, didn't get it. Big time rebound by Hall, how good has he been? 17 points and he equaled his career high with 16 rebounds tonight. 43 seconds to go, Hall behind the back, into the lane, Brown tipped it away and a foul call on Brown on the arm. 39.5 to go. Eastern Kentucky playing without three guys that are in their top six tonight and it's taken its toll on this Eastern Kentucky team. And boy, Central Arkansas has come in here and answered the bell after they lost the lead they had at halftime. Yeah, Hall has just been tremendous. They kind of spread the floor right there, let him go one-on-one. -on -one. He's working in the lane and once he got penetration, the help came off and that's when the foul occurred. Tonight's Madison County EMA CSEP players of the game, that guy right there in Hall, along with Tay-Tay Blanton of Eastern Kentucky. Here's the first shot good, and it's a two-possession game. Madison County EMA CSEP can help you prepare for an emergency. Learn more by visiting madisoncountyky.com slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP is your partner in preparedness. So Darius Hall along with Tay Tay Blanton, the players of the game tonight. Here's one more for Hall, and he's hit all five. 75 70. And Eastern Kentucky, a turnover on the inbounds, and the writing is on the wall in the first ever A Sun game in school history for Central Arkansas and Eastern Kentucky. Well, Crookshank zigged when Blanton thought he was zagging and didn't get hooked up on the Play right Here's there. a tip away from Brown on the inbounds to Hall. Brown will go up and lay it in, and they're still up five trying to close it out. Brown steals and scores. Now into Cooper. UCA. Shot clock is two seconds ahead. Brown went for the steal. Here's Cooper, and he makes it a two-possession game again with 27.5 to go, 76-72. Cooper with 17 tonight, give him 18. They have sealed this thing so far from the foul line 25 seconds ago. They don't guard Crookshank, but he doesn't take the layup. Into Moreno, his three no good. Blanton raced for the rebound and didn't get it. They go out the hall, and he's looking highlight time. And he got to round two curdles and puts it in. And the Bears in their first ever game in the A-Sun will go on the road and beat a depleted Eastern Kentucky team here by seven as they came